First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 12. And it says what? First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 12. And it says what? Let's start at 11. It says, in those, it started 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed, surnamed, uh, surname uh, Epiphanes son of Antiochus the king who had been in hostage at Rome and he reigned in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks in those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many saying let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us for since we departed from them we have had much sorrow and so it says, uh, so this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So they it gave them licenses to do after the ordinances of the heathen. And what was those ordinances of the heathen? To be homosexual, right? To work wicked things, wicked devices, right? To lay snares for the, even their own people. Right, he gave the wicked a hiding place, as the scripture tells you in the book of Second Ezra, chapter two and verse eight. Right, this is the book. Second Ezra, chapter two and verse eight, and it says what. Woe be unto thee, assure, thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee. O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, right? So the wicked think to hide themselves from the Most High God. Hey, when everybody agrees with them, when everybody, when nobody can touch them, nobody can say, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that, right? When they have evil, wicked counselors around them, they say no. Hey, they hiding from the most, they think themselves to hide from the most high God, right? That's why Ahab turned and had to pray to the most high God hey, and humbled himself and, 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 and fasted and put uh, uh, ashes upon his head, right? Because guess what? The most high God had found him and he actually used those very words when the prophet came to him, right? That you have found me. You see that? Because he listened to the counsel of his wicked wife, Jezebel, who actually sent out men of this very religion that I'm talking about, which is the religion of, which is the religion of rebelliousness, the religion of stubbornness, right? The religion of leaning to your own understanding, right? Hey, and to make your belly your God. Hey, making your belly your God, that's a religion, man, right? To not suffer, to not go, to save your own life is a religion man rather than lose it that is a religion you got to be willing to die for this thing so therefore if that make you tremble seek the lord who's able to destroy body and soul right if that makes you tremble because you see the right way you see the perfect way that makes you tremble ask the lord seek the lord that he help your unbelief man right that he prepare you to be presented a living sacrifice man Right? Who the wicked hates. The wicked hates to sacrifice the offering of the Lord, man. So anyway, the scripture says what? So that's the religion of the people. Let's keep going. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, and verse. Let's see. Seventeen. It says what? Let's start at sixteen. Now actually, let's start at fifteen. And made themselves uncircumcised. So these wicked Israelites made themselves uncircumcised, and forsook the holy covenant, and joined themselves to the heathen, and were sold to do mischief. Right. So they were sold. Where should I sign? Right. And you know, somebody presents you with with a deal. You say, where Where do I sign? That's the same thing in which our people seal their doom man by hey 
mocking the most high God, doing their leaning to their own understanding, right? Said, where do I sign, man? So they kind of signed on the dotted line, dotted line to do wickedness and folly. And it said they were sold to do mischief. Now, when the kingdom was established before Antiochus, he thought to reign over Egypt that he might have dominion over two realms. Wherefore, he entered into the into Egypt. So he wanted to have power over two systems, man. He wanted to have power over the Egyptians. But it says two worlds, as a matter of fact, right? With a great multitude, with chariots and elephants and horsemen, and a great navy, and made war against Ptolemy, king of Egypt. And Ptolemy was afraid of him and fled, and many were wounded to death. Thus they got the strong city in the land of Egypt, and he took the spoils thereof. And after that Antiochus had smitten Egypt, he returned again in the 143rd year and went up against Israel and Jerusalem. See how the scripture tells you that the wicked, they wear out the saints, man. In the book of Daniel, chapter 7, I believe, in verse 25, they wear out the saints of the Most High God, right? Which the saints are those who... Uh, uh, made a covenant by sacrifice which is Israel right so it says what as you can find that in Psalms chapter 50 and verse 5 so the scripture says what they entered again unto Israel and Jerusalem with a great multitude and entered proudly into the sanctuary took away the golden altar and the candlestick of light and all the vessels thereof and the table of the showbread and the pouring vessels and the vials and the censers of gold and the veil and the crowns of the golden ornaments that were before the temple all which he pulled off he took also the silver and the gold and precious vessels also he took the hidden treasures which he found and when he had taken all away he went into his own land and had having a great massacre and spoken very proudly therefore there was great mourning in Israel and every place where they were so that the prince and the elders mourned the virgins and the young men were made feeble and the beauty of women was changed every bridegroom took up a lamentation and she that sat in the marriage chamber was in heaviness this is the land also was moved and uh, moved for the inhabitants thereof and all the house of Jacob was covered with confusion and after two years fully expired, the king sent for sent his collector of tribute unto the chiefs of Judah, who came unto Jerusalem with a great multitude and spake peaceable words unto them. But was but all was deceit, for when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore, and destroyed much people of Israel. You see that? Hey, they hate the sacrifices, right? They hate the temple. They went into the temple very proudly. What was their reason to do such a thing? Because their religion is what? Sin, evil, man. That's what was said to Cain, the murderer. And what was these people? The Edomites. What were they? The Greeks. What were they? They were murderers, man. They were evil, man. And what did they do? They tore down the sanctuary, man. Stole and it stole many, many of the gold, right? All these manner of things. They polluted the righteous, the holy peoples, man. Right? And that's why I said in 1 Samuel, that's what the scripture tells you in 1 Samuel. Again, 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 17, it says what? Samuel chapter 2 and verse 17, it says what? Wherefore the sin of, of the young men was very great before the Lord. For men, it says for men abort the offering of the Lord and what did Cain do what did Cain do he had the spirit of that wicked one in him man it's just plain and simple to hate the work of the Lord right and that's 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 what that's what Cain did man he hated the work of the Lord he hated the work of the Lord Abel did the work of the Lord and Esau and, and, and Cain I mean Abel did the work of the Lord and Cain hated him for it it says what but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. See that? He hates the work of the Lord, man. Right? So, truly, hey, our people and chiefly the so-called white man, they hate us. 
Because we bring forth the offerings, the sacrifices, right? Which is righteous words. Righteous words and righteous dealing. They hate the, They hate that thing about us, man. They hate the fact. That's why the scripture tells you what? All that will walk godly will suffer persecution. We speak against homosexuality. We speak against bestiality. We speak against people eating pork, right? We speak against those types of evils and wicked things, man. Those types of deeds, man. We speak against those things and the wicked bring forth the sacrifices of food. We speak against our enemy. We speak against those who murdered and killed our people. We speak against those who uh, uh, interracial marriages, man, right? So-called interracial marriages, but defiling the seed of Jacob with the wicked, man. We speak against those things. So therefore we suffer persecution, man, right? As I was getting to in the book of Isaiah, which I'm about to bring out right now, so I won't forget that again, right? The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and it says what? 59 and verse 15. Yeah, the truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. So when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. The wicked start to pay attention because you know what? That's the seed that's in them. That's the spirit that's on them to hate those who what? Walk in righteousness, man. Let me bring it out again in 1 John chapter 3. The word is very simple, right? You don't have, you, you, you know, you nobody trying to be deep or above anybody. Hey, it's this simple. It matters about if you can keep all the things, the understanding that the Lord has given. That's what matters. If you can keep these things and, and, and use these things to endure, right? The dark time that's coming, right? When... The things of this world will fall away. The fashions of this world will fall away. As it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. There must come a falling away first. You have to endure that midnight hour. Right? So the scripture says in 1 John, again, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brothers righteous. You see that? The works of the Israelites were righteous and the works of, of, of Esau are wicked, man. That's why they hate us. That's why they want to bring up uh, uh, false accusations against us. That's why they uh, always uh, attentive to what we're doing. While they know, even in this very state that I'm in, uh, this state of Texas that I'm in, guess what? They know that there's sundown towns. Are they checking for them? They know that there's uh, meth labs. Are they checking for them? No, they not. They coming after Israel, man. That's why it says in the book of Micah chapter 4 and verse 11, there are many nations gathered against us. And it says, let her be defiled, man. Let Israel be defiled and let our eyes look upon Zion, man. They want to look at us and, and, and find an occasion against us and say, see, this because they are of their father which is Esau, man. They are of their father, which is Esau. They don't like people doing what's righteous. They exalt themselves above all that is called God. So they sit in the throne of God, and, uh, uh, showing themselves that they are God, man. You say you need to be off on the Sabbath day. They say, why? When you say that, oh, because it's a Sabbath, guess what? That's why you gotta be crafty with these people. Cause once you reveal that it's the Sabbath, they oh, nah, 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 we, nah, you gotta work on Saturday. We gotta have you here. And if you had ever had a Saturday off, they say what? Hey, we're going to bring you. You're going to work every Saturday now. That's how wicked these people are, man. They playing a game with you, man. You think this life is about surviving. Oh, everybody just trying to survive. You try to water it down what's going on in Babylon. You can't water it down. These people are the seed of the wicked, man, which is Esau. These are the people that's in charge, which is the so-called white man. That is Esau Edom, man. So what do they do? All manner of things what their forefathers did. What did Alexander do? Tore down the, the sanctuary, man. Stumped all through the sanctuary. Defiled the sanctuary, man. This is a book of Obadiah, chapter uh, 1 and verse 9. It says, And the might, it says, And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau, which is the so called white man, shall be cut off by slaughter for the violence against thy brother. Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? Because of the violence against thy brother, Jacob. Right? 
thou shalt be cut off forever. Let's go to Job. This is the book of Job. Chapter 24. And verse 17. For the morning is to them even as the shadow of death, man. When it is, hey, they love this life, man. They love the fact that they, they love the banks. They love their system, man. They love how hard they got the, the Israelites working, right? They love the fact that we have no ease for our feet. They love the fact that all nations think the same and agree with them in evil and wickedness. They love our women running around here, kind of dang uh, out of order, showing their body, ruling over the men, right? They love the fact that we are called black, nigga. They love our history, that we are we come from a history of being destroyed and killed. They love the fact that we in prison. They love the fact that we uh, 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 man sleeping with man, right? Woman sleeping with woman. And we ambassadors of these of those wicked things, man. We ambassadors of those evil purposes and, and uh, uh, vain purposes, right? So the scripture says what? It says the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. If one know them, they are in the terrors of the shadow of death. That's why they don't want you talking about their Esau. That's why you don't. they don't want you talking about their Esau and Edom. And they want to say, hey, we're white. These are blacks. Hey, we are Scottish. Hey, we are uh, 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 British. Hey, no, you're Esau. And we are Jacob. Plain and simple. You see? They don't want us talking about the things of the scripture because it reveals who they are. So the scripture said, if one know them, right? They are in terrors of the shadow of death, man. Right? So the devils believe and tremble, man. That's why they're doing so much to try to debunk the scriptures. They're doing so much and trying to bring about lies. You see what I mean? So our people love the licenses that our wicked people love the licenses that the wicked has given to us. And guess what? Hey, they let this wicked man in and he came with deceit, man. He came, moved with deceit and smote Israel again, right? So then let's go, uh, let's keep going. It says, and when he had taken the spoils of the city, he set it on fire and pulled down. This is Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 31. First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 31. And when he had taken the spoils of the city, he set it on fire and pulled down the houses and walls thereof on every side. But the women and children took their captive and possessed the cattle. You see that? Let's go down to verse 40. It says what? Let's start at verse 39. Her sanctuary was laid waste like a wilderness. Her feasts were turned into mourning, her Sabbath into reproach, her honor into, into, into contempt. As had been her glory, so was her dishonor increased and her excellency was turned into mourning moreover king antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and watch what the scripture says did not say that the children of Bilal, those who hate the offering of god right those who love the licenses that the wicked has given them those who speak ill of the scripture and say this is a white man's book even though it's exposing the white man it's exposing the wicked it's exposing the accursed of god which is esau edom their father, right? Scripture tells you also in Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus chapter 21. It tells you that when the ungodly curse of Satan, they curse their own soul. So our people, they curse Satan in the churches. They curse Satan uh, uh, in the uh, with these with these uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, with Malcolm X and the things that the Black History Month and the Juneteenth. They cursing Satan. They speaking in Black Lives Matter. They cursing Satan. They cursing Satan. But they ungodly themselves. So they cursing their own soul. And this is not ignorant. Uh, 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 being ignorant of righteousness. These are black people. So called black people. Right? Who are Israelites. These are so called black people. That reject the word of God. man. They say now nah, we going to walk this way. We going to walk that way. But curse the white man. We hate the white man for what he did to us. They speaking all about the curses, but they won't receive the warning from the Most High God, right? So, guess what? We, our people, love the uh, licenses that the wicked has given them, man. And they in agreement with this place, man. They want to circulate. 
the so-called white man's dollar, right? Even Black Lives Matter are getting money. They get money from this wicked kingdom, man, right? So they coming in their own name, right? They're not speaking, thus saith the Lord, right? So they curse the Satan, as I said before. So the scripture tells you, continues to say what? Watch what it says. This is 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 40 again. As had been her glory, so was her dishonor increased, and her excellency was turned into mourning. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that, that all should be one people. Let's come together. Don't ain't that what our people say? Why can't we just be friends? Don't the dreamer, the ultimate dreamer, Martin Luther King, what did he say? I had a dream that white kids and black kids should be playing together and so on and so forth, right? Everything that's against the most high God. Wasn't Peter called Satan? Huh? Wasn't Peter called Satan because he worked against, he thought of the, he leaned to his own understanding he had a spirit of rebelliousness, the spirit of uh, 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 error, to say the least, on him. And that's the spirit that we all can suffer when we don't speak and our words don't line up with the Most High God. So we all got to be careful of those things and thank the Most High God that Peter's folly was shown to us at the time Peter's folly was shown to us that we can have an example on how to be. So, uh, nevertheless, Peter was called Satan. And here we are talking about let's come together. Even with our own people, we say let's come together. How are you going to come together when we're walking in wickedness and folly and madness, right? How can we come together when there's the spirit of incredulity upon our people? Not being able to believe, right? So the scripture tells you what? that everyone should leave the, his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king yeah many also of the Israelites consented meaning they agreed to his religion that scripture says it's a religion what did I read in James chapter 1 verse 27 a pure religion is to visit the widow in their affliction and the poor and needy right proverbs chapter 31 and verse 9 says what open thy mouth judge righteously please the cause of the pure poor and the poor and needy right but we hate the offering of god right we want to walk in wickedness we don't want to hearken to the lord because we have idols in our heart and because we love says what many consented unto his religion this is the book of numbers chapter 25 and we're going to start at the top and it says this see our people hate the word of the most high god that's what they say in in the book of luke chapter 19 it says what we would not have this man to reign over us his citizens hated him and in verse 14, Luke chapter 19, verse 14, he says what? His citizens hated him and sent the word at them saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And that is exactly what the homosexual, these people that run around here with the with the with the with the with the rainbow, right? When the rain with the rainbow was meant for good things, but now it's abominable, right? The thing that the Lord created for good, they made it abominable, right? And guess what? These people would not have the Most High God to reign over them, right? People who love the oppressor, men and women that marry and go unto the oppressor, guess what? They would not have Yahweh to reign over them. People who love to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, they would not have the Lord to reign over them, right? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 25, and it says what? And Israel abode in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods 
and the people did eat and bow down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Mo see, so look, they bowed down to the gods, down to their gods, trying to come together. That's what happens when you come together. You start keeping uh, holidays. You start to envy your brother, and this system supports it because they hate your brother and you, but you are convinced, right, that the scourge will not come unto you because you had agreement with this place, as it says in Isaiah chapter 28, right, in verse 11 on down, right? Because you're in agreement with hell and, and, and evil and wickedness, and you made a covenant with death. Guess what? You say, hey, this ain't going to come and touch me. The drug dealers say that. The, 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 the uh, people who have the covetous mind and the covetous spirit. The people of, uh, as it says in Luke chapter 12 and verse 18, that rich man, man, right? That rich man here in Babylon settled on his leaves. Black man, so-called black man, Israelite man, who settled on his leaves and loves this wicked kingdom, right? And, and, and he believes he's in peace, right? He's stunned, running around here, boasting himself. Yeah, I put in this work, da 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 da. I believe you have put in a lot of work, but guess what? David said, Thou has delivered me from the strivings of the people. You want to sit here and call those plagues peace? It's a plague to have to circulate the dollar, the dollar with your oppressor's face on it, man. That is a plague to have to circulate this evil thing. The image of the oppressor, the image of the murderer, right? Who have the spirit of Cain on him, right? You call those things peace. All these manner of people, guess what? They, this is their option. This is the things that they worship. Baal, Belial, right? Being what? Uh, stubborn and rebellious. Murderous. Scripture say you hate your brother without a cause, you are, without a cause, you are a murderer, man. Right? So, scripture says what? And they called all the people unto the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat and bow down their bow down to their gods. This is in the book of Numbers, chapter 25. Right? So guess what? The scripture tells you in Maccabees, 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 43. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to the, his religion. Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, right? Birthdays, right? Like I said, right? Uh, 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 Halloween You know, I have family that don't ever talk to me But when it comes time for my birthday Hey, they always want to text me something Right? Father's Day I don't hear from my brother-in-law When he hear, when Father's Day come up Oh, he gonna speak to me That's the white man's day telling you when to do When is, when to do these things And some of these very people speak against the white man And all the evil that he has done But they still keep these wicked pagan holidays So-called pagan, right? But they just demonic days, man Right? Let's speak candidly on this thing. It's evil, man. Right? So they still worship and keep these days. So the scripture tells you what? Uh, for the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable all these are offerings unto the Lord Obedience is better than sacrifice. So these are all offerings unto the Most High God. Make yourself a living sacrifice, right? Uh, this is the things that I was reading, man. This is the things that the wicked hates, right? Man hates the offering of God, right? That's why you got to be born of the Spirit. You got to be reborn and born of the Spirit, man, right? So he said, so the scripture tells you that it hates the offerings of God. And here, the so-called white man is telling these people, right? The, 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 uh, 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 he that rule over sin, which is Cain, that spiritual, that murderer, he rules over sin, right? And what is he commanding the people to do? 
to put away all the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. 